Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and look at this little thing. Uh, so I uh, I plowed up this field where we have the cotton. We talked about that in the last episode and why we're doing it and, and so forth. But, man, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on the really expensive tools to prep such a small field. So I visited Mod Hub once again. And I found myself some less expensive tools, including this stone picker, which is basically just kind of like a bucket with forks on it. Um, you know, you press with the tr or push with the tractor, and it picks up the stones, and works pretty doggone good. Uh, and very, very inexpensive compared to the the base game stone pickers. Um, you know, in terms of leasing, I also installed a a smaller and much less expensive roller which I'll show you I installed a, a less expensive cedar and I think didn't I get something else too I can't remember I think those are the main things and they're sitting down at the shop so I'll show those to you as soon as I get this last little batch of rocks up. All right, cool. So uh, let's take a look at the map here and go to soil composition. So it looks like uh, we're in good shape there. Um, I, I decided to replow this back area here too because I was never able to roll it due to the cotton uh, crop. So uh, we'll be able to, to roll that and get it uh, prepared properly. Uh, the field's already got uh, two stages of fertilizer on it. Um, I'm That might be just, well, it already had that to begin with, so I guess it still just applies. Um, yeah. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and drop off these rocks and make five cents. <laughs> and then we'll, I'll go show you the other uh, things that I got off the mod, but I think it was mo it was this, the planter, and the roller. Because um, we just don't have a lot of options for for small fields for those things in the base game. It's just it's like, man, that's gonna cost me several, well, you know, three, four thousand more dollars to lease all that stuff just to prepare this tiny little field. And it's like, there's got to be a more practical solution, and that's what these are. So let's take a look. See here. Yeah, so I got this little planter here. It's called an Asaria planter. And it's still, um, I think it's still a three meter. And then you can see the little roller that I got there too. And those guys uh, are way less expensive than, you know, what's in the base game. So for example, uh, this is the smallest base game roller. To lease this thing is over $2,000, right? It's crazy. Uh, whereas this guy to lease is $62. So. We got that, and then for the planters, do 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 planter or cedars rather. This is the cheapest cedar that the base game has. Still cost me almost two thousand dollars to lease, whereas this guy is only three hundred fifty-seven dollars. So there you go. And then, um, yeah. Oh, um, for the stone, uh, the stone picker. To lease the cheapest stone picker, which is a two meter stone picker, twelve seventy five. This guy is one hundred and seventy three dollars, and it is two point seven meters, so it's even it's even wider than this one too. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, um, that uh, subsoiler accidentally knocked over, so I kind of unhitched from it while I was still moving, but we're finished with that. That's just a vanilla subsoiler. Um, I decided to use that instead of the plow because I had to get all the way back up against the fence and it was just easier to do it that way. Okay, let's go drop these stones off and then the next thing we're going to do is get the cedar, get that taken care of, and then the roller. After I'm finished with this, I do not plan on doing any more field preparation work for a little while until we buy some more property. Um, I'm just going to keep the current fields that we currently own um, as grass and, and just do silage for the time being. So that is the plan. Hey, we made 13 bucks off of that. All right, not bad. 
And you know, these these little implements that I got are so cheap that I'm, you know, I could buy them, but then I gotta find a place to store them. They're so cheap to lease that, for now anyways, I'm, I'm just gonna keep leasing them. Because why not? I could definitely afford to buy them, but I kind of don't need to at this point. If, if I had, you know, more fields that I had to take care of, then that would be a different story, but until we have enough money to buy some more property, that's not going to happen. And may, probably almost certainly won't happen until next year in game, I'm thinking. Could be wrong about that. It just depends upon, you know, how things go. All right. Let's drop this guy off. Very cool stone picker. Clever. Simple. Cheap. <laughs> Okay. I was just thinking about something for a second there. This cedar has uh, ridge markers on it too. I don't does does that other one have ridge markers on it? Uh, if the if it does, I've never actually used them. Oh yeah, it does have ridge markers. I've just never used them, so gotcha, okay. Never really needed to for these. Some crops, like I think cotton, for example, have to have more precisely spaced rows. Uh, so in that particular case, you probably would want to use the ridge marker, but you don't really need it for these. Not when you're planting, like, grass or cereal crops or stuff like that. So, yeah, this is a cute little... little cedar. Nothing nothing too fancy. But we don't need anything fancy, especially for this small field. Should have enough seed left over uh, from doing that field to, to take care of this one, too. And then we'll have a, a fully and properly prepared field for our grass. Okay, so let's back up here. Load up what we got. There we go. All right. 45%. Oh, it's currently set to wheat, so we want to switch that to grass. There we go. That's important. Now, this little guy, you have to turn it on, but it's really quiet. Um, okay, yeah, it it's on, I think, but it doesn't really make any noise. Is it seeding? Yeah, it's seeding. Okay. All right, let's plant some grass here. All right, guys, we're just about finished with the seeding here. Then we'll go grab that roller and try it out. Yeah, I, I kind of feel bad for, I guess, console players. Well, console players have access to Mod Hub too, but from what I understand, not all mod to work on console, especially ones that require scripts. But if you didn't have access to mods, man, and you'd be stuck with the base game stuff, this could get really expensive for a little job like this. I mean, I, I don't mind leasing the big roller for when I'm doing, like, my big field over there, but for little jobs like this, man, it just doesn't make economic sense. Okay, so I think that's everything. Let's check our map and make sure. Um, yep, says it needs rolling and it should, excuse me, it should show um, grass. Yep, it's all grass. Very cool. Okay, let's go get that uh, roller. I wanna drop off my remaining seed first though. Okay, finished with the cedar. Now let's do the roller. You know, I wonder if this, I think this might 
we could probably front mount this. I guess it doesn't really matter if we front mount it or have it rear mounted. Okay, let's go ahead and just start on this end. We'll make a little headland on this side and then we'll go the long way. Pretty simple. Excuse me, lady. We are pretty much done here with the rolling. Let's take a look at our map and see what it shows. Saving content. It looks like there's a little spot over here that we missed, but as you can see, the, the field has got two stages of fertilization on it for the most part. Uh, so yeah, we are we're good to go, man. Just have to wait. For the grass to mature, I think I'm going to just wait for this grass to mature and then we'll do all of it at once rather than that way that we keep the fields on the same schedule. Uh, where was that spot at? Looks like it's just right over here. Yeah, we should be going over right here. Love this little roller, man. For, for the small work, for sure. Ah, that didn't, uh, why did that not change that? I don't know. Sometimes you have these little weird spots on your field that don't seem to cooperate with everything else. I'm not exactly sure why. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I guess I just wasn't over far enough. Beautiful. Beautiful. Got a couple little spots here that need plowing, but I'm not going to worry about that because, you know, then, then we start messing with the corner and, and possibly causing problems that way. It looks like I missed a couple of lime spots on this field, but again, overall, it's pretty good shape. Now, I have to wait for another growth stage. Oh, actually, though, we should be able to fertilize, give this a second uh, fertilization. Because it has, it is at the first growth stage now, I think. We should test that before we completely commit to it to make sure that's exactly what the deal is. Anyway, let's go ahead and return these this leased equipment. And we got out cheap on that deal, man. Uh, we'll take a look and see what our total leasing costs were for today. Or uh, wait, no, it's still September 1st. Yeah, no, we, we won't be able to tell that because earlier on this in-game day, I had leased all the bigger stuff for the bigger field, so. Needless to say, it was a lot cheaper. And I might even buy this stuff at some point, but we don't really need to right now. So we'll just keep leasing, leasing the cheap stuff as... Uh, you know, for smaller work and the big stuff for bigger work for now. Okay, let's go into here and return. Return and return. Very good. Okay. Nothing new in the store. But again, it's the same in-game day. Even though, for me, <laughs> it's been like Two real-time days here on September 1st, something like that. I don't know. Maybe one one day. I lose track of time. Okay, let's go do a, a quick fertilizer test. I know in general you can't fertilize um, twice in the same stage unless you're using manure or slurry. Um, in which case you can, I believe. But if you're using chemical fertilizer like we are, you can't do it twice in the same growth stage. 
but the first time we did it the field hadn't even germinated so we should be able to do a second stage now I would think but like I said we'll test it and make sure we're gonna have to get some fuel for our tractor here pretty soon too We have 19% fertilizer left. That's how much fertilizer it took us to, to do all those contracts earlier this morning. But I actually did all that yesterday in real time. Okay, so let's get right about here. And where is our swath set to? Oh, it's not showing it. Okay, here, let's let's drop it and reconnect to it. There it goes. Yeah, for some reason, it, sometimes that doesn't show unless I reconnect. Uh, all right, let's do a quick squirt. And then we'll look at the map and see if that has applied. It has. Okay, excellent. We are good to go. Okay, let's put a second... Uh, level of fertilization, second stage of fertilization on our big field here. Oh crap, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Dang it. I just wasted a bunch of fertilizer. Alright. I was trying to put it in cruise control mode and I was using the lower button instead. We don't need to do the part across our little road there. That's already got two stages on it. All right. What I'm going to do here is start right about here-ish. Let's do one big squirt, and then we're going to change this down to the smallest width, and I think we can cover this little swath here with that. <clears throat> That's one of, one of the things I really like about the spreaders. You can make adjustments to the width. It's amazing. Let's go patch this up here. And we've got just a little tiny spot right here. Okay. And then uh, the other corner. What we'll do here is get back to full mode. And then as we get into the corner, we start to shrink the spread here. Something like that anyway. <laughs> Those little tire track looking things are, they are uh, fertilized. They just don't change color for some reason, but you can see it says 100% fertilized there. So, not sure what the deal is with that.
It almost looks like a road was <clears throat> maybe there at one point, but I don't remember. I don't remember trying to create a road there. <clears throat> Alright, I think that's it. This all should update to dark blue. Oh, we got a little spot right in the center there. I can even see it. There we go. That should fix that. And good enough, man. Good enough. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, I think we are done for September 1st. There's not really anything else to do. I got all the contracts done. We got all of our field stuff ready to go. So now it's really just going to be kind of wait um, until our latest field is ready to harvest, and then we'll do our own hay harvest. And we obviously no longer need to worry about waiting for the cotton because we got rid of it. <laughs> if you did not watch the last episode, um, the main reason is because it would have cost us more money to lease the equipment to harvest the cotton than the than the cotton would have paid out. So that's why we decided not to do it. Gotta get that pallet stuck back in there. I might, let's see, I'm not expecting any contracts tomorrow uh, or on September 3rd for that matter. So I might actually turn auto sell off and then just let two days go by and then sell the produce myself on the third. And, you know, we'll make a little more money if we do that because there's not really anything else for me to do over the next two days. It's going to take two days for that hay to mature, or the grass, I should say. So, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe that is what we shall do. Uh, you know what else, too? I want to put some meadow grass on this corner. Might as well, right? Landscaping plants grass. There we go. Yeah, that takes care of that. And we'll harvest that when the time comes. Uh, let's go to our production facilities. And we want to put everything on storing. Well, we actually need to do it for the ones that are actually doing, in this particular case, strawberries. And in this case, tomatoes. Okay, so lettuces on storing. These don't really need to be on storing. Uh, strawberries is on storing and tomatoes are on storing. Let's save the game so that that uh, is put in place. And then, yeah, so guys, I think what I'm going to do is just making sure there's no more contracts. There is not. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to sleep until September 3rd. And then when September 3rd rolls around, we should have a nice batch of produce. And I might even lease a real forklift to load those up. Um, it might actually be worth, well, I don't know, we'll have to see, because we'll probably, I'm trying to remember how much, how much did we make on our produce in August? Uh, August, so let's see, sold products. So we made, we made about 7,300 bucks on sold products in August. How much does it cost to lease the cheapest forklift? This is the cheapest forklift. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, that's a fairly decent chunk of change we would miss out on. 
Is there anything? What about a skid steer? No, I don't think those are going to be any less expensive. Not really. How about a front loader? 50, 30, 64. Yeah, I mean, they're all going to be just a little more than I'm, I'm willing to give up. So uh, I'll just fight the stupid front loader pallet forks, I guess. Um, we did, we were able to pick them up kind of okay with the clamp on the, but I had to get at them from the side, which isn't super practical. So yeah, we'll just use the forks. Anyway, all right, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to sleep for a couple days. I'll bring you back on September 3rd and we'll go from there. All right, guys, it is September 3rd and look what is for sale. <laughs> a forklift. 50% off. Um, it would take a little over half of our money to do, but I'll tell you what. Um, and this is also, we also need one of these too. How much does it cost to lease the new one of that? See, this is 6,000, uh, well, 68 there. Uh, I think we want grassland care. Oh, where do we find that? Grassland care. There. So to lease this guy, 841. So this would pay for itself after well, maybe seven, eight uses or so. Hmm. It's kind of in rough shape, too. <laughs> Not that we care about that so much. Uh, well, what I'm, here's what I was thinking. If, if I spend the money on this now, which I really sort of can't afford to. I mean, I can afford to, but I can't or shouldn't. What I might do is not use auto sell because if I can just use the forklift to to quickly and easily load these, then I'll just go sell them myself, and we'll get thirty five percent more. We'll make thirty five percent more profit off of it. Um, we also have contracts too, by the way. Now, or there should be. Oh no, wait, we're still in September third. And by the way, my grass hasn't germinated yet either, so I guess we have to wait for the next month. I think it only takes two days for it to be ready to harvest after you cut it. But when it's initially growing, maybe you have to wait till the next month. I, that's my guess anyways. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to buy this forklift. Um, I hate using the forks on the tractor front loader that much. <laughs> and, you know, we were talking about how we wanted a forklift or how I was wanting a forklift, and then one comes up for sale. So, you know, maybe that's a sign from God or something. I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to get it. Whether we should or not, we're going to do it. Uh, and then I will not use auto sell on our produce. Um, instead, I'll just, you know, it's going to take extra time. But if, as long as I can load those pallets quickly, you know, then we're also going to get, like I said, 35% more profit from that produce than we would if we are just using auto sell. So let's go get ourselves a new used forklift. Okay. We are now the proud owner of a new used forklift. And what the heck? Let's just buy this too. Maybe that's a sign from God too. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we have our own roller and we have our own forklift. Nice. Okay. Um. What? How come that's not starting? Okay, what are we doing wrong? Oh, select camera honk. Open path. What? Oh. Oh, is this thing electric? It is electric. Oh. Uh, okay, where do we, where would we recharge such a thing? <laughs> I didn't even bother to look at that. 
I figured it would just be propane or something, you know? Um, the gas station only has gas. I thought I saw somewhere around here where there was a power charging thingy. Oh, no. We might have to... Where would we... <laughs> what are we supposed to do about that? Uh, here. No. Go back to here. Hotspots. Loading, production, animals, contracts, tools, vehicles, others. Let's turn all this stuff off for a second. So only others is on. That's the train station. That's the train station. That's the store. Um, What is... The gas. Okay, so gas is a loading station. Oh, here we go. Okay, over by the bio gas plant. I thought I had seen a charging station somewhere, uh, which means there's probably one at this biogas too over here. Oh, there isn't. Wait, where is that at? I think this is it here. Those, they don't have one. Okay, well, at least we have one at this <clears throat> bio plant here. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I don't even know what happens in this game if you run your, you know, your vehicle out of fuel. Nice and quiet, though, man. Okay. Cool. Well, um, this doesn't... Can we hitch this on the back of here? The horn works. <laughs> oh, we can. Look at that. How about that? Okay. So we can take our roller back with... Oh, you can barely pull it. In fact, it almost looks like it's dragging on the ground. Okay, maybe that's not such a good idea after all. <laughs> I think we're dragging it on the ground. Oh, how funny is that? Okay. Well, we are now the proud owner of a new used electric forklift. Yeah, yes. Let's go uh, get our, our pallets loaded. I mean, when we get home in five years from now. Good Lord. All right. Let's see if this thing has enough food spa to pull the trailer. I, I certainly wouldn't use this to take the trailer to market. Well, except for maybe it over to Mama Joe's. I don't know. Uh, but can we at least pull the trailer around? If not, we'll just use tractor, of course. Actually, you know what I should do? Well, here, let's see if it can do that anyway. I should keep this attached to... Oh, look, it's got a backup light. Fantastic. I should keep this attached... Or keep the tractor attached to the trailer anyways, because... Oh, yeah, we can pull that. Because it likes to... It likes to uh, drift. You know, I'll set it east and west and by the time I'm done loading the doggone thing it's like north and south kind of thing this is cute man I love it Okay, so we'll put that there. What I'm gonna do here is hop out of here. Let's get the tractor um, connected to the trailer. So hopefully it'll help kind of hold it still. Nifty. Um, you know what? I actually haven't checked my water and fertilizer levels in our greenhouses for a couple of days, but it looks like they're still good. Yeah, okay. That lasts a lot longer than I thought it would, which is a good thing. 
Okay, cool. So let's uh, jump back in here and um, start loading up. You know, too. Try to think if it would be easier. We could probably get three across if we go the other way, like this way. Plus, it'll be just a tiny bit easier to get the forks in there because we have a little more width to work with. So let's close those up. The other thing we could do too is double stack everything. Well, I don't think we need to double stack. I think we'll be able to. We might we might want to do that for if we have a couple of extra pallets when it's all said and done. But okay, let's put this on here. I didn't quite get it on there straight. Oh man, that is so much easier, you guys, than using the the tractor forks. It's just the way that the tractor forks maneuver, and the controls on them are not smooth. They're like just full bore, so it can be hard sometimes to adjust the forks at the right level. And I'm already loving that we spent the money on this. Because, you know, eventually we'll be able to sell these this i mean we're going to be selling the produce for 35 percent more profit a and if we do this you know on a regular basis this thing's going to pay for itself probably fairly quickly i would think i was just trying to oh that's shouldn't happen <laughs> but it is <laughs> okay interesting that wouldn't happen in real life, but hey. Question is, will it stay on there long enough for me to lift this all the way up? You know, at some point, we might want to actually invest in the pallet trailer. It's this guy right here. Uh, where are you? Wherefore art thou? I'm not, mm, I'm not seeing it. it. Might be under something else. I, it, it's like a little enclosed trailer, and if you load the pallets sideways or long ways, rather, you can get two side by side and double, and you just shove them in there. You don't have to worry about like strapping anything down or anything like that. Where would that be, man? If it's not under trailers. Oh, I wonder if that's a mod. Maybe that's a mod and it's not. That's. Just, okay. Animals. Animal. Transport. I thought I saw that in here, though. Low loaders? No, it wouldn't be low loaders. Though, you know what? A low loader would actually make this job a tiny bit easier, too, just because we wouldn't have to lift it so high. Not that that's that. This, here we go, this thing. Okay, so yeah, this is a pallet trailer. And you can get two pallets side-by-side -side long ways and double stacked. And probably three per side. So you could get a total of 12 in there. It's only 12000 bucks. But, you know, the nice thing about it is you don't have to fiddle around with trying to get everything straight and lined up like you need to do on this trailer on the other hand this isn't that hard to do okay yeah let's put that one down lift this up I'm not gonna try and get these absolutely perfect but just adequate. Flip that down just a little bit. Nice. 
Okay, cool. All right, well, um, I'm going to get all this stuff loaded up, and then when I'm finished loading, uh, we'll take it to market and see how much money we get. Actually, hold on. We should probably do this one product at a time now that I think about it. So if for lettuce, do, 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 what are we looking at? We're looking at prices up here. Uh, lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Where are you at? Here we go. Okay, so the price is going up, and it looks like John's... No, it looks like Mama Joe has the best, best prices. You know, for three of those, I probably could have just stacked three of them up and drove them out straight on over there, huh? <laughs> um, let's just do that. No point in... Well, no, we already got them loaded up. Let's just strap them up and take them over real quick. Uh, does Mama Joe also have the best prices on e one of the other two produces, though, before we take those over there? So tomatoes for 48. So Bowling is still giving the best price on tomatoes. That's what they were doing last time. And best price on strawberries, 232 is the bakery, actually. Okay, so, yep, everybody's different. You know... From our, our role-playing standpoint, I don't think Mama Joe's going to need strawberries for a while. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure she'll let us know when she does need strawberries. So let's take the lettuce over to her. Because we did only bring her one pallet last time and one pallet of tomatoes. But yeah, I have no regrets buying that forklift. It just... You know, I, I, I ran a forklift for actually for several years, um, a long, long time ago. I worked in a distribution warehouse, and uh, so it's just a little more comfortable for me from that standpoint, too. But it's not even, whoops, it's not even that so much. It's just that the tractor forks are just wonky. Okay, Mama Joe, buy our lettuce. Twelve hundred and eighty bucks. Look at that. How much did we buy that uh, forklift for? About twenty-five something. So we just paid for roughly five percent of it, ish. <laughs> but I mean, we do this every single day, and we're gonna. Well, it's not gonna take that long. Let's do the tomatoes next, and that'll go to the bowling restaurant. In fact, one of my very earliest, well, I shouldn't say my earliest jobs, but when I was a newlywed, we'll say, I actually worked at a farmer's co-op for about five years in Washington State. And of course we had a forklift. All our forklifts there though were all propane. But all that to say. See, this is a little tougher because these guys are at an angle. Oh, <laughs> nice one. It's probably gonna be easier for me to just get these from the end. Uh, because, you know, we have a bit of an incline there. I could probably use the landscaping tool to level that out a little bit, but... Let's just see how much of a pain it is to get a double stack going from these guys. Okay, not too bad, I guess. Goes all the way down and then just lift them up a little bit, and then we have to lower them down even more as we work our way up. Oh, it got caught on the ground, darn it. Okay, we gotta lift them up a little higher. 
Does the strap thingy work on this? No, it doesn't. Okay. We do have to go fairly slow because it doesn't take much for that top pellet to shift. Found that out the hard way last time. But again, using the jerky controls on the tractor forts contributed quite a bit to that. Got a little too far forward there. Okay. Let's strap these down. Okay, I'll get the tomatoes loaded up. I'll see you guys at the bowling restaurant for our tomato sale. All right, here we are at the bowling alley. Again, uh, not really sure what these guys are doing with all these tomatoes. <laughs> but... Uh, as long as they give us the best price for them, not my problem. Let's see what we get out of this. Uh, ended up being faster and easier just to load the tomatoes from the end uh, because of that slant there. All right, 1573. Not too bad. Six pallets of tomatoes. Made a little more money off six pallets of tomatoes than three pallets of lettuce. And then I think we're going to have something like 16 pallets of strawberries. It's about what we had the last time. Let's go get them loaded up and sold. All right, guys, check this out. This is cool. Stacking made easy, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. All right, guys. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> Over the uh, the last hour or so, in-game hour, it looks like the grocery store is now the one that has the best prices on strawberries. So uh, it was the bakery earlier, but now it's the grocery store, I think. Unless I uh, misread that the first time. But nevertheless, it is the grocery store right now. So that's what we're going to do. Um, loving that forklift. It's just so much better than the the tractor forklift. Um, and, you know, I, I even stacked three high for those first few stacks, but I don't even really need to do that. I, I, I can just whip them up there really quick if we just do one at a time. But what we're going to do, what my plan is, is, you know, we have three-month days. Or no, I'm sorry, <laughs> three-day months uh, in this game. And incidentally, that's not something you can change after the fact, or at least I haven't been able to figure out how to do it. So I think what we're going to do is just plan on every third day of the month we sell our produce. Uh, I've been doing it every two days, but if we if we wait another day, then we'll get, you know, just a third more uh, of the produce. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to do now, now that I can load this stuff, you know, reasonably quickly. And um, we'll see how much, you know, money we make. And because, you know, it's greenhouses, right? It should also work through the winter, too. At least that's the theory. Now, I am going to need to factor in, you know, fertilizer costs. Water doesn't cost anything money-wise. But... Why is that making all that noise? Um, but it does cost time, of course. But I'm not really too worried about that since I often end up sleeping... Uh, away a couple of days in the month anyways so it's really more just the fertilizer cost that we're going to have to compare to the profit that we make well no we're going to have to that's overhead right so we're going to have to deduct that from the money that we make to determine what our profit actually is so yeah cool i'm uh, very happy that we got that for it makes a world of difference Uh, let's see. What did we actually make uh, off of that, too? Let's take a look at our sales. So we are in September and our sold products. So we made almost $6,000 off of all of that stuff. So we should expect to make close to $9,000 if we wait 
and do it every third day of the month. So not too bad, really, if you think about it. Not too bad. Um, fertilizer. I, what the, I guess the other thing I need to determine is how long does one pallet of fertilizer last per greenhouse? Because we'll only put we'll only put one in each. So we're talking, you know, three thousand dollars there. So we're basically um so each time we fill this, we're basically costing us ninety six hundred dollars. So the question then becomes how long does one pallet last in the greenhouses? And I, I don't know that yet. I'm just going to have to pay attention to it, seeing if I can determine it, to, to, to calculate the actual profit that we're making. Okay, anyway, let's, um, let's go ahead and park this. Now, I guess the other consideration is this. You know, if we can expect to make around $9,000 a month on three large greenhouses, if it turns out that the fertilizer cost for these double production ones is too high, then we could revert back to the, for, to the base game ones. And then other than water, there's no overhead at all. And we're still going to make $4,500 a month-ish all depending upon prices and stuff so again i just have to i have to determine if it's if these are actually more profitable than the vanilla ones taking all of that stuff into account all right well um i think we're done in september there's not really anything else for us to do we just need to wait for our grass to germinate on that other field before we can start harvesting um, and what I'm going to start doing now, uh, because I've made the decision that silage is going to be our, our thing, I'm no longer going to just sell it each time I bail it. I'm going to store it and wait until we get the best prices. Uh, and let's look at that again. So if we go back to here and we select silage and look at the price fluctuations. Yeah, so like most everything else, January is is what we want to do. So moving forward, we're 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 gonna do you know we're, we should be able to get at least four cuttings I think a year. And we're gonna store it all up and then we'll, then we'll sell it all in one big lump sum in January because that is obviously the best time to do it. So where we're gonna store it, that's a whole another thing. Um, I'm not really sure actually. So we'll have to figure that one out. I think what we'll do for the coming year, I mean, because we're already in September, we'll probably end up just storing it out here in the yard. And, you know, theoretically speaking, because it's silage, meaning that it's wrapped in plastic, we should be able to store it outside without really needing to have to cover it. Um, in the real world, you'd still need to worry about vermin and stuff like that. But, I mean, we're not in the real world. <laughs> we're in the farming simulator game. Uh, this is the new home for the Farcraft. Oh, I know what else I was going to show you guys. Uh, if we go into the build menu and go to tools, there is actually an electric charging station that you can purchase for $5,000. Um, so we will probably do that. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on, you know, the power level of the forklift. Because right now, I mean, we we barely tapped into it. We're still, at, like, I'd say 98% full. Um so for now, we'll just keep an eye on it and you know when it starts when it gets down to maybe say sometime somewhere around 10%, we'll just take it over to the biogas factory. I don't know how long it takes to charge, but well, you know, we'll figure out that out when the time comes. But yeah, I like our new plan. I like our new plan where we wait three days and then we sell this ourselves rather than auto selling, because we're just gonna make a lot more money doing that. And I don't mind doing the loading now that I've got a, you know a much nicer forklift to work with. So there you go. Okay, let's um let's sleep. Let's go into October. Here we go. <laughs> 